Ever wondered how people make those fancy videos where they actually appear like they're inside the VR game? It's known as mixed reality and in this video I will show you how you can do it too. So recording yourself inside the VR world, it's known as mixed reality and the great news is there is a free piece of software available from Steam that will do the majority of the hard work for you. This piece of software is known as Live. There are some other things that you're going to need in order to do this, including a couple of pretty sizable green screens. I've linked to some really good ones available on Amazon below. And optional but probably recommended are some green foam tiles. That will allow you to set the camera a little bit further back and capture more of your body whilst still being able to completely get uh, the green background uh, and the floor, the green tiles, are to disappear as well. This works best with the Steam uh, VR system using lighthouse sensors and uh, a webcam will more than suffice but you will get better results with something slightly more sophisticated using maybe a mirrorless camera and either a capture card or the Elgato uh, cam link. Once you have installed Live, you will need to install the Steam VR Live driver. Now, what this will enable you to do is set the camera location within the VR space. It's able to do this without the need for additional trackers, such as the Vive tracker, and really does help keep the cost down. Once you've got the Live client started up, you're going to need to set up your camera, and you can do that by clicking on Load Compositor within the Live client. Then select the camera on the left-hand side of the new screen, click the Camera Plus symbol, and then select Camera from the drop-down. In the subsequent drop-down underneath, you'll need to select your device. In my case, this is the Elgato 4K60 Pro. Select the correct resolution and frame rate, and you should now be able to see your image. If you can't check all of your connections, reboot the system, but at this stage, you should be able to see your image. Now we're going to want to key out, and that's a posh term for make disappear, the green screens and the green tiling that you've put down on the floor. You can do this by selecting keying on the left hand side and then select pick color. Now there's a handy dandy dropper that you can drag over your image so that you can select the green from your green screen. Don't worry too much if the green screen and the flooring are slightly different shades. We can account for that in a second. Then you have two options, a threshold and smoothing. I tend to use threshold to take the majority of the green out and then I use threshold for fine tweaking afterwards. And the balance you want to strike is trying to get as much of the green to have disappeared in the background whilst not making yourself uh, disappear as well. So there's a fine balance between avoiding kind of a green halo effect around your body and making your body disappear. Now remember, you almost certainly won't get this perfect, but once you've got game loaded up, it will be far less noticeable than it is with a black background. This bit is super fiddly, but take your time and be patient, because if you get this bit right, you will get far better results uh, once you start filming the mixed reality content. Now we need to start the calibration process. This can be done either on your VR headset or on a monitor. And the first calibration step is to position the camera in VR space. Now you do this by moving your controller so that it's just in front but not quite touching the lens of your camera and then squeezing the trigger. There's a handy red cross that you see on the image in the live client that helps you understand where you need to put your controller. You then need to step back from the camera and you will have two more red crosses. This enables you to calibrate the controller location. 
move the controllers over the red crosses and squeeze the trigger. I do often find I need to squeeze twice. I think this is to help Liv know which is the active controller before you calibrate. You should now be able to see your virtual VR controllers overlaid uh, over the image. Um, and there are some options so that you can fig fiddle around with the latency if they're not quite in sync uh, with your actual VR controllers. Uh, you can fiddle around with the latency if the virtual, uh, if the virtual controllers are moving ahead of your real controllers, then you need to increase latency. And if they're lagging behind, then you need to decrease latency. There are also some options to tweak their location uh, on the screen if they're not quite aligned uh, with the controllers. You've got an XYZ axis moving uh, slider there as well. Again, this bit is a little fiddly, but well worth trying to get Right, once you've done this, you are ready to launch your VR game. Now, not all games are compatible with Live. There is a full list of compatible games uh, on their website, and I've listed that down below in the description. But do make sure that you launch the game from within the Live client. If you launch it direct from Steam, the mixed reality content uh, won't work. And once you're within the game, you should notice that there is a Live screen it's semi-transparent that's showing you the image that is being captured by the live client very handy because it's not helpful if your camera gets stuck inside a virtual wall you think you've filmed some great content but actually when you go back and play the image uh, play the video back there's nothing but a gray blank wall uh, for you to look at so you can use this in-game uh, image to help orientate yourself spin the camera uh, round within the virtual space just using the right controller to snap turn yourself is the approach i generally take get the image lined up and then enjoy making some great virtual uh, virtual reality mixed reality content then all you need to do is fire up your favorite recording or streaming software open broadcast software in my case which again is free and uh, open source the fact that this live client is completely free really is fantastic it's a really great tool it's got a reasonable uh, library of games and that's growing uh, all of the time including one of my personal favorites at the moment phasmophobia which is absolutely terrifying beat saber of course being the most recognizable uh, game for mixed reality content but there is a SDK available that developers can include in their game code um, and hopefully we should see this list uh, grow and grow and grow over time. So there we go guys, that's how you make mixed reality content. Please like, share and subscribe. As always, I hope you're very well wherever in the world you are and I will see you in my next one.